Welcome back. It's a dish sure to wow your family and friends. And we're about to walk through how it is made. Brooke Cohen is the owner of Culinary Creations by Design. Welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here. Okay, what honor. are we making today? You know what? We're going to do a flank steak. It's a pinwheel that has a whole bunch of nice fillings in it. So it's a different way to, to prepare a, a kind of tough meat. Okay, so, so how do you start off? Well, I've already previously marinated, okay. pounded, and rubbed the meat. What did you marinate it with? There's a mixture of soy sauce, mm -hmm. red wine, a little bit of honey. My secret ingredient, though, um, that I did myself is I like porcini mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hydrate those, and I use the liquid from the porcinis. Oh, nice. In the, in the marinade, and it adds a nice touch. A little bit of depth mm -hmm. and tenderizes. Now, how do you get it uh, pounded out? Are you do you I use a meat no. <laughs> you should, you Take out your like, aggression and sounds just like do shots. Uh, yeah, it takes a bit because a, a flank steak is pretty tough, so mm -hmm. you have to you have to work at it. So, so this is probably double the size of where I started. Fantastic. Okay, so what do you do next? So filling, lots filling of fun up. stuff. So I take some bacon and I pre-cooked this um, halfway or so because mm -hmm. it needs. It needs a little bit of cooking before you put it in because yeah, it can't be too quite, great, too crunchy. Doesn't quite get done otherwise because it's all rolled up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some bacon. Then I do a little bit of spinach. Wonderful. I try and keep the uh, the yeah. additional fillings towards the center because you don't want them to to come out at the end when you roll it up. Now, how did you did you cook the spinach? Did you I sauteed saute it, it? Okay. sauteed it um, with a little bit of garlic. Sometimes okay. I add a little bit of masala at the end, add mm. a little nice touch. Okay. Roasted red peppers. This adds a really nice color when mm, you roll it up. Yeah. Plus the flavor of these. I, I roast these peppers myself. The flavor is just phenomenal. Fantastic. Um, and then what's next? These are the porcinis. Porcinis. Okay. That, and I and they're hard to find fresh, so I do like to use the dried. The one reason for the marinade, mm -hmm. adding the hydrated liquid. The other reason is I just love the woody, nutty flavor of porcinis. Wow, you've got a lot of uh, flavor, great flavor combinations yep. there. So I don't marinate the steak too long mm -hmm. because I don't want the marinade to overpower the filling. Right. So Gruyere kind of makes everything Gruyere. stick together. Okay. And you just slice it up in a nice thin. Yep. Just pieces. thin enough so it doesn't. Or you can shred it however okay. you like. This just kind of helps everything stick together, and I love the flavor okay. of Gruyere too. So I was getting creative, and I thought, "What the heck? Wow. Let's do let's do some surf and turf." So there you go. Let's I wasn't expecting that. There. Fantastic. And these are just peeled, deveined, um, medium-sized shrimp. Okay. So you get all your filling. I kind of like to press it all down so mm -hmm. it, so it all sticks. Mm -hmm. um, I've already rubbed the the piece of meat mm -hmm. with the. Uh, Rosemary, salt, mm -hmm. pepper, so I don't need to season it any all. And this now the, sh point. the shrimp, they're raw because they yeah. cook pretty fast. Well, and you slice it. And you slice so, it, okay. So what you do at this point, okay, you roll it up tightly. There you go. And now so folks, can, you filling. can go to folks' homes or they can come to you to learn how to make this. Absolutely. My or business, any other delicious meal. My business is home based and I teach cooking demos, is what I call them. Mm -hmm. Have a group of people into my home. Uh, I have a great kitchen for up to probably about eight people. Oh, that's fine. Or fun. if you want to showcase a new, a new kitchen of your own and, and want to have some mm -hmm. friends over, then um, I can come to your home. Okay. And I can teach you whatever you want to learn. All right. Anything you can think of. I love to get creative. So I put my skewers about mm -hmm. an inch and a half apart or so. Okay. And get those in there. And then at the end, you slice, slice it up. Okay. And how thick would you recommend? Well, the end pieces are always kind of tricky, so I mm -hmm. slice those off because because you have to toothpick those because the mm -hmm. filling will fall out. Right. I think you know a nice cut of steak, maybe an inch and a half. Fantastic. And then how long do you bake it for? Well, I like to grill them. Oh, you grill them? Oh, oh I wow. I like to grill them, but if you don't have that option, mm -hmm. see how pretty the. Oh, it's beautiful. If you don't have the option of grilling, mm -hmm. I suggest broiling. Okay. Because. If you bake them, this mm -hmm. I like to do it really quick and fast, so you keep your internal temperature right about 140. So if you right. can grill them, broil them, keep it to about 140, mm -hmm. the shrimp will definitely get done because mm -hmm. it cooks very quickly. Fantastic! And, and then there's the end product. It looks beautiful and delicious. And I brought plenty for everybody to enjoy. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. Well, if this looks like something you'd like to try at home, you'll be able to find Brooke's recipe for flank steak pinwheels on CaseyLive.tv later on this afternoon. Thank you so much, Chef, for stopping thank by. You. All right, let's check in with Michael.